Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve for our missing angles. Um, so right here we have a right triangle. You can see by this box with the right angle. Um, and we have missing angles one, two, and three. Um, so therefore we want to be able to determine, you know, what are the measures of each of those angles um, based on given two angles of 49 and 35 degrees. Well, the first thing I notice is, you know, since I know this is a 90 degree angle, I know that, uh, and this line cuts that angle, not necessarily in half, but it cuts it into two separate parts. So therefore I know that 49 plus the measure of angle one, those two have to add up to 90 degrees, which we call complementary angles. So therefore to solve for measure of angle one, I will simply just subtract 49 degrees on both sides and I get measure of angle one is going to equal 41 degrees, all right? So now, now we need to start working on uh, measure of angle two and three. And there's a couple different ways we can uh, look at this. I like to go and see um, angle two, and the way that I'll do angle two is I understand, so now let's know that that's 41 degrees, right? Well, remember that the sum of all the uh, measure of all the interior angles of a triangle, the triangle interior sum theorem, states that all the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So therefore I can say 41 degrees plus 35 degrees plus the measure of angle two is equal to 35. Oh, sorry, I had to go to 35 degrees. It's my first video of the morning. Uh, is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so now to go ahead and solve for measure of angle two, I can combine my like terms. So 35 plus 41 is going to be 76 degrees plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. Now to go ahead and solve for measure of angle two, I'll subtract 76 degrees. And I have measure of angle two is going to equal 104 degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, forgot, uh, very, very close, right? Um, now the last thing we need to do is, um, so I have measure of angle one, measure of angle two, but I need to figure out what measure angle three is. Now, a couple different things. Um, we've talked about the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite angles, or you could also say that this angle is, is supplementary with angle two. So since we know angle measure of angle two is 104 now, we know that 104 plus whatever this angle is adds up to 180, which is 76 degrees. Okay, so now we know that this is 76 degrees. We can use the interior sum theorem again for triangles by adding up these three angles. So I can say 49 degrees plus 76 degrees plus the measure of angle three is equal to 180 degrees. Um, so now we just go ahead and add 49 degrees plus 76 degrees, which would be, let's see, 100 and, that'd be 11, so 135, 50, 125. Yeah, 125. Then I just subtract 125 degrees. And I have measure of angle three is going to be equal to 55 degrees. Um, why don't I, I like feel like I'm doing this wrong? Eight. Yeah, that was right. I don't know why. Sorry, again, first video of the morning. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you determine uh, your missing angles of a triangle using your angle relationships. Thanks.